Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a black nerd with another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode recap. Turtle Power, it's back! Ninja Turtles is back on television, back on Nickelodeon with brand new episodes, and this week we get City at War. But if you were lucky enough to go to San Diego Comic-Con, you already saw this episode because they showed it early at the Ninja Turtles panel that a certain somebody from a YouTube channel that you may know may have moderated. Thank you, Nickelodeon. But it's good to see the turtles back on TV, and it's especially good to see April O'Neil because we see her graduating to become a full-fledged ninja, a Kunowich? Am I saying that right? Kunowich? Sandwich? In this episode, some time has passed, a few months have passed between the last episode where they fought the Triceratons and now it's back to basics, it's back to New York, and now April is a full-fledged ninja. She's been trained by Master Splinter, we've been seeing her getting trained by Master Splinter throughout the course of the series, and now she's officially one of the gang. She's a ninja, and that's awesome. So of course, she goes out on the first night with her ninja friends, and gets the crap beat out of her. <laughs> they meet this brand new character called Shinigami. She was introduced at San Diego Comic-Con in the Ninja Turtles panel. She's voiced by Gwendolyn Yo. She's this really cool kind of gothy witch type character. She fights, but she uses illusions and smoke bombs and all kinds of things to play off as magic to defend herself and to fight against the turtles. And of course she fights them and Michelangelo can't stop her because he's in love with her. Michelangelo takes one look at Shinigami and it's just like, ah, smooth. Ooh, Michelangelo! I thought he was with Renette. I guess now he's trying to get up on Shinigami too. <laughs> Shinamiki. And Shinigami specifically likes to fight April and even at the end of the fight takes April's weapon from her, which makes April so mad. This is her first night being a ninja and the first thing that happens to her is she gets her weapon taken away by somebody new. So the turtles and April work together trying to figure out who this Shinigami person is and where is she hanging out and they find out that she's hanging out at Shredder's old lair. So they go there and they think they see Shredder sitting in the Shredder seat, but it's not Shredder. We get that camera pan to reveal that it's actually Karai, and Karai is taking the place of the Shredder, even wearing the Shredder helmet. This is a cool homage to the 2003 series where they had uh, Karai take over as Shredder for a little bit. But Karai even tells the turtles, look, I got no beef with you. I'm not about fighting you guys. We're cool now, okay? We chill. The little worm thing that was in my head is gone. I'm good. I just want to rebuild the Foot Clan, give it a good name again after the Shredder has ruined its name. And the turtles are like, well, let us help you. And she's like, nah, I gotta do this by myself. And we find out that Shinigami and Karai were old friends. They're buddies. They like to hang out. They're girlfriends. BFFs. What, what? Kissy, kissy. XO, XO emoji. Karai and Shinny, they're the best of friends, and they go on adventures to rebuild the Foot Clan. And they're having this whole conversation, but April the whole time was like, I don't care about this. I just want my weapon back. Shinigami, give me my weapon back. So Karai's like, hey, you want the weapon back? Fighter for it. So Shinigami and April fight each other, and it's a really cool fight. The turtles got to sit back for a little bit, take some popcorn, and watch the fight. Raphael was like, uh 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 uh, let them fight. April is still getting beat, she's really getting upset. But April still has a little piece of that gem that she got while they were in space, and it seems to be triggering her psychic abilities and her emotions. So she gets really, really angry. It's like a magical mood ring. <laughs> she gets really angry, goes into like Hulk slash beast mode, and just is shooting her psychic powers all over the place, breaking windows, scaring everybody, getting all angry. The turtles have to calm her down. And Karai's like, all right, give it up, give it up. And then Shinigami gives the weapon back, but April still is like, Ugh. What Karai and Shinny don't know is that they are being spied on by a footbot because Shredder's mutants are also still out there trying to take control of the city. We're talking about Tiger Claw, Razar, Fish Face. And when the mutants find out that Karai and Shinny are going around destroying all of their weapon hangouts where they hide all their weapons at for their armies, they have a big fight and Tiger Claw actually captures Karai and Shinigami. Karai gets to get a quick message out, quick text out to Leonardo to let them know they're in trouble, but then Tiger Claw's like, I know you did that. He takes the phone from her and just like breaks and crushes. I'm like, whoa, dude, that she may still be making payments on that phone plan. You don't know if she's got like that uh, deal where you can upgrade to the next phone. She might need that. That's messed up, Tiger Claw. You owe Karai an iPhone, or at least a Galaxy Note. April is getting really upset at herself because of how bad she did, and she's like, oh, I feel like the world is going against me, and Splinter's like, the world ain't going against you. That's you thinking the world's going against you. That's your head, that's your problem. You need to be focused and take care of your own responsibilities, whether you win or lose. And he's like, I got a little something extra for you. I'll teach you a new move called the Dragon's Tail. So the Turtles and April go to rescue Karai and Shinigami, who kind of also rescued themselves. And then we get this all out fight with the Turtles. 
Cry, Shinigami, April, and the Mutants all fighting each other. And it's a crazy fight. Tiger Claw slashing all over the place. Razar is biting all over the place. Fish Face is for some reason dancing with April, holding her close and saying, I am the most interesting fish in the world. And you even see Donatello in the back getting angry. I was like, all right, man. Uh, <laughs> smooth Fish Face. Smooth, but also kind of creepy Fish Face. And it was so cute to see Michelangelo and Shinigami working together, fighting together side by side. And he's all like, I think we got so much in common. And I'm just like, oh, you, look at Mikey being all a player, player, player. But April has had enough. She is tired of this. So she goes straight to Tiger Claw and gives that special splinter move, the Dragon's Tail. And it is a sweet shot of April like Wah! and Tiger Claw like oh and then it cuts to see that uh she hit him in the you know <laughs> in the right in the right in the you know <laughs> she pulled a Ghostbusters 2016 right in this area <laughs> she pulled a Aisha from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie taking care of business Dragon's tail right up in, not the tail, <laughs> but more, well, I guess a tail, a tail and uh, two nostrils. Boy, and did Tiger Claw go down fast? He went from, I am Tiger Claw to, <laughs> April is happy that she got her weapon back. She's happy that she was able to prove herself. Splinter was like, you used that dragon's tail. Then she's like, yeah, I did. <laughs> Tiger Claw like this. <laughs> Tiger Claw goes back to Shredder to let him know what's going on and let him know that Karai is turning sides and all this stuff. And then we find out that Shredder is actually sick. He's like in bed. He's got all these things attached to him. You hear the little boop, boop, and he's all, if it's a war she wants, a war she shall have. Baxter Stockman Fly comes in with this little tube and sticks it to Shredder, and then you see this green stuff going from the tube into Shredder. Mutant is going into Shredder. You see an eyeball open up, and then whoosh, episode ends. So they are putting Mutagen inside of Shredder to make him strong again. I remember Secret of the Ooze, man. I think we're getting a Super Shredder up in this piece. Man, it was so cool to see Turtles come back. I mean, like I said, I saw this episode at Comic-Con, but still it's nice to see the Turtles are back on TV. And it was cool with this episode to see the progression of April. You know, I didn't really know how the whole April being a teenager thing was going to be when they first announced it when the series began. But what's really been nice about this series, and particularly this episode, is that we've seen April progress so much with the psychic abilities, with the backstory, with being trained by Master Splinter, and and now being a full-fledged ninja and can fight alongside the turtles. I think it's a really cool, nice progression of her character and not just, oh, by the way, I also fight too, like they did with her in the 2007 <laughs> TMNT movie. It was nice to see her get to the point that you see her at now where she's fighting with the with the turtles and that's really cool. And we got April, we got Shinigami, we got Karai. It was some girl power up in this episode of Turtles. What do you think of this episode? What do you think of April being a ninja now? And what do you think of the possibility of a super shredder? Oh my gosh. If you're new here, please subscribe. I make new nerdy videos all week, every week, including Ninja Turtle recaps. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000, Chain Chomp, yo.